Now let's talk about your new diagnosis, which is much more serious, okay? But it's not scary, okay? You have pain, no, you have the cancer, scary. okay? So tell us when did you find out about that and what well, are the symptoms? Uh, as, as briefly as I can, I went back home for Christmas this year, last year. And typically I go home every year for a two and a half week vacation. Uh, to my surprise, I got unbelievably sick and I didn't know what was wrong with me. And I, I knew in my, in my core man that it was uh, an unusual kind of sickness. So I went to the doctor and they ran some tests on me and they determined that I had um, uh, pancreatic cancer and they found a tumor and everything on it. And uh, subsequently, how was your appetite at that time? I never, I never lost my appetite. Oh, that's very strange. Yeah. That's yeah. rare. Okay. Never oh. lost my appetite. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I, I have a great appetite now. I'm hungry now. Okay. Um, but uh, in, in, in any event, uh, they wanted to do the, the typical uh, surgery, which was, in their opinion, very high risk surgery, something called a Whipple surgery. Yes, and uh, the chance of healing is not that high. No. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, follow up with radiation and chemotherapy, to which uh, I, I've not been a fan of any kind of surgeries because of the failure in my eye. Mm -hmm. uh, I just I, I'm not I'm not a fan of any kind of surgery anymore. Okay, the fallacy of using surgery to treat the cancer is that you remove the cancer, but you never treat the cause of cancer. Mm -hmm. The cause of cancer is the reduction of circulation and not enough. Oxygen. This is a Nobel Prize uh, winning uh, uh, discovery. Whenever an area the tissue are deprived oxygen by 30%, the normal cell will ferment, will ferment sugar for energy. So the first thing I told you is cut out all the sugar, right. and simple carbohydrate, and none of your oncologists ever told you. Nope. Okay. Your cancer secondly is not due to lack of chemotherapy, which is very toxic chemical. So cancer is a toxic state. It should be detoxifying. That's why I told you that when, when you become stronger, you should be uh, like uh, uh, fasting mm -hmm. one day a week or one weekend a, a month. And you should be alkalized. Alkalizing the, the body fluid will give you a lot of oxygen. And cancer cells become normal cells when the tissue becomes alkalized. Okay, if your normal circulation is all alkaline, then the pancreatic cancer will never grow and you will not die from that. Okay, anyway, so you were in Kansas and how come you didn't come back to see me? You don't want to take uh, chemo, you don't want to do, do surgery. What happened to you? Did it take you so long? Well, actually, actually, uh, that's the sickest I've ever been in my life. I was, I was bedridden for uh, about three weeks. Mm -hmm. I've never been that sick in my life. In fact, I, I blacked out a couple of times at the hospital because of uh, what they f determined was called orthostatic hypotension, yeah. mm -hmm. where you don't get enough circulation of the blood to the brain. And you were too weak, that's why. You, you were know, too weak, yeah. And I blacked out twice. and mm -hmm. uh, I was just very weak. I had no core strength, no anything. For, I was bedridden for at least three weeks. and uh, You were pretty weak. Just before oh, achievement I was, today, I, I you, know, was, you you were you were moving <laughs> your foot. Oh, like, when I came like, in this today, I yeah, was, yeah, like Tim Conway, yeah. you know, <laughs> very very slow, slow Tim Conway. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> la the laughing guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I just you were kind of wobbly, you know, when you walk through the the bed, just like three feet. Yeah. Well, I, after this treatment, I, I I feel surprisingly energized. In fact, I'm sitting here. Ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go already. Okay. You have pain in the stomach, which means that uh, your digestive system not working. And you also you have diarrhea and a lot of pain in the mid back, mm -hmm. uh, bubble back, and then, and then there's uh, scapula. So, how are the pain? I, I don't feel them anymore. Not today. I mean, this I, is I how, you, how a patient should be treated. Everything should be treated. We, all, we only bill for the pain treatment because they, they do not recognize. So, but we don't treat the cancer either. We just treat wherever your organs are weak. So I strengthen your liver, your kidney, your pancreas, and your stomach. That's why your pain disappears. And it's not a temporary thing. For this whole week, you will not have the pancreas pain. And when I asked you, well, while I was treating you, you just ate. So you were not hungry, but now you're hungry. Yeah, I am. 
Yeah, so that's a good sign. Because when you're hungry, that means this time you're going to absorb the, the energy. Okay? And you, did you walk better after the treatment? I do feel surprisingly stronger and energized. Because when I came in here, I felt like a dead man walking. Yes. But I, I don't feel that right now. So you're a little stronger then, right? Well, something's got me vibrating here because I'm, really, <laughs> I'm, I'm really ready to go. And I didn't feel like that when I came in. Good. Listen, okay, we'll follow up on you and see how you do next week. Yeah, I know yeah. that you're going to be better, okay? Well, let me, let me see this. You know, I, I've been seeing Dr. Tong here for a little over a year, and uh, I had a lot of faith and hope in getting back to him because uh, of the things that were corrected prior to this later diagnosis. Yes. Right. I had, I, I, I actually experienced the benefits before this uh, later diagnosis, so I knew I was dealing with somebody who knew what they were talking about, and I kept arguing with my family and the doctors back there that I didn't want the conventional treatments. I wanted to get back out here to Dr. Tone because I feel like the holistic approach to this was a safer and a, a, a more, more um, what's the word, uh, uh, beneficial. More, yeah, natural. Yeah, okay. natural, yes, yes, yes. Healing the body and okay. dealing with it that way. So I, I, I take my hat off to you because uh, I knew once I got okay. back here, I was going to <laughs> Yeah, I knew once I got back here, I was going to feel better. Yeah, that, that, and that, I, and I, actually do, yeah. I actually do feel better. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the point. There are thousands of cases of spontaneous remission of cancer. That means that they don't need any medical treatment, no interference by, uh, by any kind of doctor, natural or, or, or conventional, okay? Which means that the cure of cancer is known for all kinds of cancer. The cure is in the body's healing system. When you get enough healing, system, healing power, you don't have diabetes, you don't have high blood pressure, you don't have arthritis, because the circulation is strong. So what we do with the Chinese medicine, that and the nerve block is to improve circulation, to strengthen the function of all the organs. And that's why you so feel so much better. If you take chemo, you'll be sicker than a dog. You'll die, okay? You already have too much toxin. You need to detox, okay? You need to have oxygen in your blood and in, in the pancreas. And then when you do the diet, I told you, slowly the alkaline blood will shrink the cancer. Will, 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 the cancer cell meet alkaline body fluid, you become normal cells, okay? So yeah. next week, we'll, we'll follow up and see how you're doing. And I, I yeah. know that you're going to feel good. Well, yeah. uh, it, it, in, in conclusion, you'll never see a fireman pull up to a, a house on fire and spray gasoline on it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's very good, okay? That's, that's exactly what chemo does. Exactly. Okay? That's exactly. very, very foolish. Exactly. All right. Thank you for sharing your story. Sure. Okay. Sure. All right.